time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button and it's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K L I Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. And it's time to get distraction video started. If y'all didn't notice, I was crying. At my little intro and everything, I was crying because that's how this last episode did me. The end, usually I start off going over the beginning and what all broke down during the episode, but I need to start off this one with the end. Because y'all, as a fan of the Karate Kid movies and watching the Cobra Kai season, since it was on the YouTube pr Premium Red, I have to tell you, this season must have been the best of all. It has to be the best of all. And I think it's a combination of the writing and, and you know, the writers probably being fans themselves and knowing where the fans want, where to go with this and where the season should go and where, where the people should go. I'm going to get myself together. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Because it starts off, we see them, you know, Daniel and Johnny going at it with, with Allie in between at the little country club, doing their little man flexes and all that, and Allie in the middle, like, all right, y'all are, y'all are, here we go again, high school once again, you against you, but this is the thing, like, towards the end that she, like, stopped and was like, look at you, you're both fighting over this, but you're, like, so much of the same, that's your problem, you're so much of the same, come together for the greater good to come together and I think in their minds they they kind of realized that they did right that they were a little and that they needed to if they wanted to get against the real enemy go against the real enemy and we know who it is now I don't care this season's trying to give you a little backstory on the crease and let you know where his you know tumble into the dark side began and we see it. I mean, you're going to go off to war and be this POW and they have him in there fighting over the pits of the cobras and, and all this stuff. It breaks him down mentally. We see it. And then to top it off, they're going to put him against that, that captain guy. And right as they're going to go, he's going to be telling him that the love of his life, the Betsy's dead. Trying to get him to to fall, you know, to victim of like the grief just before they're going to fight. And he's going to be thrown in the pit of the snakes. No. We see where Crease has turned to the dark side. We see it. We see uh, him going to be rescued and, and him still killing that captain. We saw the flip. That don't mean he has a right to be crazy like he is now and get into the kids' heads and become more menacing than ever before. Look at these kids now. Did, you know, the one Cobra Kai's, you know, they have turned darker than ever. We see them at the little party. Sam's over here with the Miyagi Do's and he's, they're trying to, you know, make friends again with the Eagle Fangs. Every time I say that name, I'm going to laugh. But who comes to the Cobra Kai's going to throw the little bin or whatever's name through the window? And they're going to have this crazy epic. It was like, this is going to be the epic fight of the season, right? They're going to end it with just, this is like the school ended with that crazy epic fight. What's going to happen? But this time, like, some came together. I mean, you see Hawk? You see Hawk gone from his change into being this menacing person, but he's been dealing with this all season. He's had this struggle, good against bad. And he chose the good side, Hawk. That had me, when him and Dimitri teamed up and back to back and were fighting the guys, oh, oh my God. I had Sam and the Tory go at it. First Sam ran, right? Ray was like, oh, here she goes running again. And Tori goes and chases her. But they started going a little battle. She has that little flashback about not succumbing to the fears and all that. But then they got to show up and stop it, right? Miguel and, and Hawk and all those gangs, they can't show and stop it. So I'm like, it's not going to end like bad, but like before. Even though you were scared, right? When Miguel was getting beat up by the one Kyler, and you're like, no, Miguel. And then he's going to see Dimitri and Hawk be friends, and that's what's going to bring it out of him. Oh, about the season is, it ain't really about the kids this season, right? I mean, it is. It's showing their recoveries and what they had to deal with, you know, from that big end of uh, episode or season two when with the big crazy fight that really broke them all down, and that's what they're recovering for. This season's about the adults, I feel like, this time. And then after, you know, Johnny and Daniel had that little go at it at the thing and, and Allie broke him up and made him realize things. What happened? Johnny's going to go back and and confess his love to the Carmen, but then that's when he sees Miguel all beat up and I was like, he ain't having it. 
he goes and shows up at the Cobra Kai, going to beat up Crease. I was like, oh my goodness. But what happens? He sees Robbie there. What is from the little fight with the Sam and the Cobra Kai's? Is Robbie wasn't present with Tori and them. So that gave me a little hope. I was like, oh, Robbie's staying out of this. Robbie ain't succumbing to the pressures of the Cobra Kai in that darkness. He ain't. He's staying out of that fight. But what do we see? When Johnny goes to beat up Crease, there's Robbie right there training with him. And and they started going at it, right? Crease and him, because J- Crease is like, this is your chance, Johnny. And Johnny's like, I ain't having it. And he starts beating him up. But then... Robbie gets in. Of course, he's going to get knocked out, Johnny. Johnny like, <laughs> Johnny was trying not to fight him. He's going to get knocked out, so he ain't going to see what really happens. When Crease is over there trying to kill him, he ain't seeing all that. Of course, because he's sleeping through all that. I am team Johnny, but when Daniel showed up and they started him and Crease going at it, I was like, this is the true Karate Kid fandom coming out of me right now. Because I was like, I know it from all the movies. You know, Miyagi got to teach little Daniel like a, one of his moves. Just like in the first movie, he learned that crane. And that's how it ended, that he wins the fight. What happened? And the second one is that <laughs> they do the little drum, right? And that's what's going to bring Daniel to win the fight. He always learns a lesson in this. And that's exactly, he pulled that little move on the crease, doing that. <laughs> and it made him, that he learned from Chosen. That right there brought out this the the fandom and every Karate Kid fan there is. We that we were cheering. If you have been a Karate Kid fan since the '80s and watching then, that right there was a true testament to like the. Of course, fan. that's when Robbie's gonna wake up. That's when Robbie's gonna wake up and be all, "I'm on the Cobra Kai side," and blah blah blah, and we're gonna end this. Just, just we're gonna end this at the All Valley. You go or I go. So it's like. Oh, this is happening again, like Karate Kid Part One, like see, you know, the first movie. They're gonna, they're gonna have a a, a battle royale, battle royale at the All Valley, and and the winner of that is gonna take it all, right? That it's it's seeming like season four. That's what's gonna happen. When the tears came, they first gonna play the little music. I can feel it coming through the air tonight. <laughs> Oh no, like first I was like, oh, it was building up, but you get the song and the, and the fans and then who comes out? Daniel to lead the the the, the kids, the Miyagi-Dos and you see Sam and all them, Dimitri and all them ready to train. And then when, oh, when the Miguel walks in and then Hawk and all them to take their side to train together and there's Johnny and Daniel and they, they bow to the kids. And then they look at each other, bow to each other. Oh, that's when I lost it. That's when I lost it. Y'all don't even know. That's when the tears came because it's like, it's a prophecy of the things that have come. Like at the end of Karate Kid 1, Johnny picked the good side, right? And this is the finally, the moment when the two, they, he, you know, Johnny and them, they pick the good sides. And this is the moment when they can finally come together and fight the evil that is creased together. And that's when they said, they're like, let's begin. Let's begin. Was that not the last probably sentence in the whole thing? Let's begin. And I'm like, this is Karate Kids, all your parts. Season one, Cobra Kai, season two, season three. This right here has led up to the moment like a redemption of Karate Kid, the movie, you know, the first one. And I'm telling y'all can make fun of me. I was in tears, but I was. It was like, it was just everything. And I feel like this was the best season yet. I loved it. And now when is season four coming out? That's all I got to ask. When is season four? Let me know what y'all thought. You can go back and watch all my other reactions of all the episodes. But this was amazing. I loved it. And I can't wait for more of this. Because this right here is in true Karate Kid Cobra Kai spirit. This episode right here was a culmination of the spirit that is Karate Kid. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time.